Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. Just a reminder, Friday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on blogtalkradio.com slash the stench of truth. I will have Robert Price as my guest, and we will talk about the Cthulhu mythos Lovecraft, and maybe even get into a little bit of theology, since he has a wide range of interests. So join us for a fascinating discussion. I want to remind everybody, or tell everybody here on YouTube, that my channel, my radio station, will be moving to a new home uh, beginning July 1st. Beginning July 1st, that's a Friday, same time, 7 to 9 p.m., I will be at InceptionRadioNetwork.com. InceptionRadioNetwork.com. You can check that out and check out my blog page there where I have my first guest of July. That would be Lynn Picknett and Clive Prince. And we will be talking about the Stargate Conspiracy and the Nine, the channeled entities. Um, so bear that in mind for future, beginning July 1st, my show, The Stench of Truth Radio, will be on Inception Radio Network. So check them out and join me at my new home starting July 1st. Now, I just have a few things to say, okay? Wiener resigns from office. Vitter does not. There has been some talk about why doesn't Vitter resign, okay? I don't think Wiener necessarily needed to resign because I don't see anything that he did as being necessarily uh, detrimental to him holding his position. The same can be said for Vitter because I don't believe prostitution should be illegal. And the fact that he has come clean about it uh, should negate any possibility of uh, there being blackmail used against him. Okay, But if there is such a massive call to have Wiener resign, and he did do so, uh, then Vitter should resign. So I have one thing to say to Vitter and to all of the right wing of the corporate party. Hey, Vitter, fucking resign! Because if Wiener is resigning over this, you need to get your fucking ass out, too. But, of course, the right wing of the corporate party is running the show, therefore they are not going to um, push on this issue. Even the sainted Rick Santorum, who would like us to live in a theocracy and have stoning of people every Friday for the people's amusement, won't even touch the issue, even though he would presumably be adamantly opposed to the idea of the use of prostitutes. Even he will not touch the subject because that is how it works. Um, Walmart recently won a case in the Supreme Court where uh, class action status was denied to women who have systematically been uh, passed over for promotions and increases in salary, etc. The class action was denied, the class nature of the suit. Um, and of course, uh, this just is another indication of the total corporate dominance of America, even in our judicial system. And that brings me to the other point. And that is the scandal that is not being talked about. Clarence Thomas and the receipt of quote-unquote gifts and quote-unquote favors from various individuals, groups, and organizations of a political nature and which have been and or could be involved in cases in which he will be asked to render a decision. So therefore, I have one thing to say to justice, and I put that in quotes, Thomas, get the fuck out! Because you make me fucking puke! If there's any fucking shred of decency in any government organization, then the so-called judicial system should be above reproach. And if there is even the slightest hint of any kind of favoritism, you need to get your fucking ass out. That's that. Now, people have asked me in light of my last video what my solutions are. 
And I do not have complete answers to anything. So, you know, if you're going to ask me for a total layout of the entire plan for change, well, look at my platform for the future, okay? But that presupposes that we have a political system which once again serves the interests of the people and not the corporations, Wall Street, and banks. So, what is a solution? What is the main solution to the problems that are facing this country? And that is to focus your activism, to focus your activities on corporations, banks, and Wall Street. Now, I'm going to say this one more time, okay, so you get the idea of what I'm saying. Whatever activities you are prepared to take, and that you feel are appropriate for you to take. However far you are willing to go in the pursuit of that, those activities, quote unquote, should be directed against corporations, Wall Street, and the banks. Because that gets at the root of the vine that is corrupting the government of this country. And you can put whatever terminology, ideas, or anything into the term activities. Be imaginative. Finally, I want to talk about the troop drawdown in Afghanistan and the vote in the House on cutting the funding to the Libya operation, which is not a war, according to Obama. So, uh, first of all, the troop drawdown in Afghanistan is not a troop drawdown. Even with the removal of these troops, there will still be more troops in Afghanistan than there were when Obama took office. So, it is not a troop drawdown. It is not a troop drawdown. Okay? And this is just further proof that we are never going to leave Afghanistan. And we are never going to leave Iraq. And what's going to happen in Libya is that we are going to continue to pound that country and eventually have to invade unless they get lucky and kill Gaddafi with a bomb or send in a special team to assassinate him like they did to the supposed Osama bin Laden in the supposed raid into Pakistan because we will not stop in Libya until Gaddafi is gone and gone should be read dead. So here's my answer on this particular issue. Uh, since it's not a war and there is no legal activity that gives uh, Obama the authority to do what he's doing in Libya, he is therefore ordering the execution and murder of people without any kind of legal authority. So he's guilty of murder, just like George Bush. So that is an impeachable offense. But now we have also talk of cutting the funding to the Libya operation in the House. I'd be very surprised if this goes anywhere. Because the warmongering, killer, murderer, right wing of the corporate party is usually the first one to jump on the military, murder, smash, kill, blow up side of anything. So if they were to actually vote to stop any funding to Libya operation, I would be floored. So count this as rhetoric and nothing more. It's not going to happen. It should happen, of course, but it won't. So just some thoughts for today. Thank you.